Hi, my name is Colin. I'm with Best Plumbing and Heating in Seattle. Uh, today we're going to talk about radiant heat. This is new construction, so we're kind of doing the first uh, phase of this. Uh, this is going to be the in slab tubing. Um, so you, if you look out here right now, you can see that they've uh, poured the foundations and they've put down the insulation and the rebar. In this case, we're uh, tying the tubing to the rebar. Um, once we complete this, which we're almost done with, uh, they're going to put the concrete down and build the structure. Then we'll come back and do uh, the remainder for on the upper levels. Obviously, they're going to be set up differently because uh, they're not going to be in concrete. So there we'll uh, just suspend tubing uh, between the joist bay. And um, uh, basically, when they insulate it, you're going to find that there's a two inch gap there and they're going to heat that the air in there and it's going to have nowhere to go but up. This basement has two zones. Okay, one is going to be the bathrooms. Uh, they're going to have their own thermostat, and so they can call for heat. The bathrooms will warm up by themselves. The rest of the, the you know, base flooring will be on a separate zone. Um, and then we don't have tubing in places we don't want heat to be. So, for example, back there, there's a wine room. They don't want the heat in there, so there's no tubing in there. Uh, same thing with the media room down at the far end over here. The media room, the media equipment gives off a lot of heat, so there's no reason to have it in there. Um, uh, same thing with underneath the stairwell. Th this right here is going to take about a day. This is the bathroom. Both of these are bathrooms. So you've got, that's just the stack. That's got, the, see that little spray paint there? Over here? That, that's a wall. So that, that pipe there is going to go up and catch everything from the upstairs. This pipe here is the toilet. So we're kind of going around the toilet because you don't want to heat up the wax. And then uh, this is the shower. So we're going to do it in the shower too, so the shower is nice and warm. I guess right, right about there. It would actually make our life easier if we did it before this. Because literally you have a stapler where you just walk behind. So like basically we would lay it out and would just as you go. So there's, when you're doing the layout in these, um, you know, where we get our material from, they'll do kind of a material takeoff and then a layout for us. And if you look at these, it's kind of, some of it's critical on the loop length. So you can't, uh, you don't want to exceed loop lengths. Everything is always going to change from what they gave you. You're always going to make some modifications. Um, but one of the critical things is that you don't want to go too far with one, one, uh, one zone I guess not really a zone actually it's you don't want to go too far uh, with one length of tubing so in a manifold if you have for example both of these two rooms if you look at them there's a lot of tubing in there and it's going to exceed 300 feet with this half inch tubing so what we do is we split it up and we got two runs in there and you just make your manifold bigger when this is all complete you fill the system up okay and once it's filled and you get all the air out uh, that same water is used year after year.